This conference will now be recorded. In the previous session, we have discussed about the IRS and we have discussed how to manage the elements in the form of IRS. We have discussed and how can we create our own arrays? How to manage the elements inside the array? We have discussed. Now, and then we have discussed about the concept of objects also. We have discussed what exactly an object, what it describes, how to define the object in JavaScript. And whenever we are defining the objects, what kind of elements that we can choose? Simply the primitive or the basic type of element, or can we store arrays? Can we store some other objects? All these things we have discussed in the previous session. And along with that, we have discussed how to store a collection of objects in the form of array. Now, today we'll see how can we manage this, okay? objects through programmatically by using javascript how can we manage this elements okay now let's see practical now let me show you the various use cases so that you can understand objects are very very important because whenever we are dealing with Now, how can we define this object? Okay, now let's see practically. So now let's see how can we manage this elements here by using JavaScript programming. Now let me define an object and then how can we store? Okay, now let's see. That already we know as part of this JavaScript, object will be representing in the form of key value pairs. So each object will be represented with the help of key value pairs. So each element will be separated by using a comma. That already we know that. 
now key value key value key value pairs now let's see how can we define this object and how can we manage those elements okay we'll see practically let me go to that visual studio code now let me go with that live server let me go to that inspect and go to the console now let's see so now let me define an object over here how to define the object yesterday i have given the syntax and so practically to you now defining the object i want to store some customer data in order to store some customer details i would like to define an object generally okay what we can do related to my customer i want to store the customer code also customer name and the balance amount contact number email id and the contact address everything we can store inside that then how can we do that we can now let's see practically i am defining this subject here constant customer data equals to so that already we know that okay objects are always represented in the form of okay curly braces within the curly braces only we can able to represent that objects now i am going to placing the elements here inside this object now this structure is representing this syntax is representing it's an object whenever we are writing some elements in the form of this in the when closing curly braces then it is called as an object i want to store that customer code so we have to specify the key and the value pair so which will be separated by using a colon each element will be separated by using a comma here now i'm indicating customer code that will be of type numerical i'm indicating 4002391 i'm indicating so comma this is one key and the value key is customer code value is the value that means the customer code value second one customer name customer name i'm indicating sam santosh kumar okay sam santosh kumar now i'm indicating balance amount that will be some 54 lakhs comma and then contact number contact number i'm indicating as plus 1 i would like to specify 67672233 45 this is the contact number comma i'm indicating email address i would like to specify santosh@gmail.com i'm indicating designation the designation i would like to indicate so now he is a sales manager sales manager so now this is the object which i have defined so when coming to this object over here okay when coming to the object object allows us to store a group of heterogeneous elements so now this is one heterogeneous element over here this is a separate element now this is one more element this is one more element this is a one more element this is another this is another like that multiple elements we have combined into an object which will be enclosing with the help of curly braces so this is a numerical this is a string this is a numerical this is a string this is also string this is also string like that we can store multiple types of elements also inside that object 
so object allows us to store a group of elements of heterogeneous type that means different types of elements now this is the object here now i want to print whatever the elements are available here now print the object elements print the customer data now i'm using this console dot log i'm indicating this customer data is now i'm representing this customer data directly i'm printing over here okay directly i'm printing that now let's see let's see so now it is indicating customer data is okay it is indicating object it won't represent the actual values here it won't represent the actual values because objects cannot be represented directly so if you want to get this okay object values inside this object whatever the elements are available whatever the values are there i want to represent so now here in this case here what we can do is we have to use a class called as a json class json dot stingify json dot stingify method inside this json dot stingify method specify the object name now it is going to be converting this object data into the sting format it will be representing on your okay con browser console because browser console can't represent the objects directly it can represent in the form of sting format so that i am going to be converting this customer data in the form of sting format by using this json dot stingify method and then we can represent now so now here in this case here, let's see now let's represent now let's see we can see the data customer data is we can able to see that whole data over here like as customer code value customer name value and the balance amount and the customer contact number email id designation everything we can see the whole data we can able to see so in the lightning components also lightning web components also we have to use same json dot stingify we can specify the object name that data we can able to represent on your browser console now so now sometimes you can raise a question sir i don't want to show okay all this data here i want only the keys okay these are the keys that means these are the element names these are the element values okay these are the element names these are the element values now sometimes i want to get only the element names so in this case here whenever if you want to get only the element names then we can able to fetch this elements information by using object dot keys object dot keys method there is a method called as keys here we can specify the object name whenever i'm passing this object name in this object whatever the elements are available those element keys will be getting returns to you suppose if you want only the values that means only this particular part then we can specify object dot okay values there is a method called as values a method here we need to pass that object name what is that object name customer data we need to pass this whenever i'm passing this object name in this object whatever the element values are available those element values will be getting represented no the names only the values that means no keys only values will be getting written to you over here so in order to get only the keys we are using this object that keys method to get only the values we are using object that values method now let's see how it can be represent here get all the element keys so that i would like to use console dot log i'm indicating element key names are now we can specify object dot keys here we can specify the object name what is that customer data inside this customer data object whatever the elements are available that element keys i would like to represent now let's save this now we can see that element key names are it is showing like as customer code customer name balance amount customer number email address designation everything like the similar way i want only the element values here 
get all the element values. I want to use console.log. Element values are, I want to show, object.values. Here we can pass that, okay, object name. So inside this object, whatever the element values are available, that will be getting written to you. Let's say this. Now element values are, we can see. Okay, 400, 2391, and then Santosh Kumar, 54 lakhs. Like that, we can see all the element values over here. That facility is available here. Suppose if you want to represent only a specific element value, like I want to show only the customer code value here. I don't want the everything. Or I want only the customer name. That's it. I want to show that only the customer name here. How can we show that? Now, print the customer name. How can we get that? Console.log, I'm indicating customer name is, I would like to specify that here. Customer data dot customer name. So whatever the customer name that we have, I would like to represent only the customer name here. Let's see it is printing customer name is Santosh Kumar. So whatever the key name that you specified, based on the key, the respective element value will be getting written to you over here. Now, so if you want to show both customer code in the customer name, I want to represent, print the customer code and customer name. I want to print by using that okay, string interpolation so that I would like to use console.log. Now I am using customer code as I would like to represent. Now I'm using this dollar symbol, customer data dot customer code. And customer name is, I want to indicate the dollar symbol, customer data dot customer name. That's it. I want to show both customer code and the customer name both inside that. So that I'm representing by using split syntax. Customer code is customer data. That means object name dot customer name. That means property. I'm passing the key. Based on the key, whatever the customer name that we have, that customer name will be getting written to you here. We can see that both. Now, let me see. So we can see customer code is 4002391 and customer name is okay, Santosh Kumar. So that whatever the object that we have defined, inside that object, whatever the elements are available, those element keys also we can able to fetch element values also, and we can fetch individual element values also, whatever you want. That facility is available as part of your objects in JavaScript. This is a way we have to define these objects. Whenever we are going to be representing some data inside your picklist control in Lightning Web Component, compulsorily we have to go with this object format. Okay, that is a fundamental rule. Now, let's see. Let me place this code. Next one. So now as of now, we have defined an object with a simple okay elements over here. How to define complex elements? Now let's see. Now what I want to do is, I want to define an object. I want to define an object with the complex data type elements here. What do you mean by complex data type elements? Till now we have stored only the primitive elements here, like uh, this is integer, this is string, and this is also integer, this is a string like that. But I want to mix all. 
like I want to mix that. Okay, I want to define an object which contains some primitive elements, some arrays also from objects also inside. That in one object I want to store one more object also over here. Then how can we do that? Okay, now let's see practically. So now I'm indicating that. Let me take a small use case. Write a JavaScript program. JavaScript program to define an object with complex data type elements. With the complex data type elements. Now, so now I would like to define an object here. In this case, what I want to do is I want to define an object to store my employee details, for example. I want to store my employee details. So generally, employee will be having what? Employee will be having employee code also, employee name also, and then his designation, his email ID, and the contact number, and the current CTC, everything. Along with that, employee will be having some contact numbers. How many contact numbers he can have? Multiple. Not only one, multiple contact numbers. So those multiple contact numbers I want to store in the form of okay array. Okay, first contact number, second contact number, third contact number, fourth contact number, like that. I want to store in the form of array. Then along with that, the mailing address. That mailing address I want to store in the form of an object. Like as mailing address contains what? Okay, it will be having the street also, city also, state also, country also, postal code and everything. So I want to represent it as in the form of an object again. Then how can we do that now? Let's see. Yesterday I have given the syntax also perfectly. So now as part of that objects, what type of elements that we can store and how to define the complete syntax I have given to you yesterday. Now, like for example, this is the syntax. Now this is the syntax. Here we can able to define this okay object which contains some primitive elements, some arrays also, and it contains some objects also internally by default. We can do that. Now let me show you that example. Let me go to the Visual Studio. I'm defining the object over here. Defining the object. I'm indicating on stand employee details. employee details now here i'm indicating employee code i'm indicating 5002390 employee name i'm indicating some rakesh tripathi i'm indicating some designation I would like to indicate he is a technical lead. And then current CTC. I'm indicating this value like as some 45 lakhs. Now I want to show the contact number here. Contact numbers. Contact numbers, I'm preparing an array. You know, array will be represented in the form of by enclosing with square braces. Now I'm indicating the contact number. This is one contact number. He is having another contact number. And he is having another contact number. Now, these are the three contact numbers, comma. So now that means we have defined an array here. Because he is having group of contact number, that's what I have defined it as an array. Now the mailing address. Mailing address. Mailing address will be, I'm indicating as an object here. I'm defining as an object. Let's see. Mailing address contains what? Okay, street, I'm indicating. 
street name. I would like to indicate some flat number 402. Now some classic apartments and some Srinagar colony. Srinagar colony, Hyderabad. Thama. I'm indicating the city. Hyderabad State. Telangana Country. Country Sum. Postal code zero three eight. Now, what are the values? See, this is my object here, which I have defined. So the object will be having some primitive type of elements also, some arrays also. It is having some object also internally. So one object has been stored inside another object. So this is a parent object. The employee details is a parent object, and the mailing address is a child object. So we can able to represent some set of objects also inside it. So one object contains another object also. So complex data types also we can able to define inside this. The facility will be available to you. Now, so now here in this case, let's see. How can we fetch this data? Once the object is available like this, then how can we fetch the data? I want to get only the keys part here. Keys means what here? So now employee code, employee name, designation, current CTC. Now, current CTC, contact number, and then mailing address. Now, I would like to specify. Now, I would like to fetch only the key names over here. These are the key names. I don't want their values. How to get the key names? Now, let's see. Now, I'm using console.log. Now, I'm indicating employee properties are Properties means what keys so that we can specify object dot keys is of employee data. That means employee details. Inside this employee details object, whatever the keys are available, all these keys we can able to represent. Now let's see. Save this one. Now we can able to see that result also. Now it is indicating employee properties are employee code, employee name, designation, current CTC, contact numbers, and the mailing of the everything. So it may be any type of element also. It may be array type, it may be object type, we'll be representing all the key names over here. So whatever the elements are available, those element key names will be returning by this particular okay, keys method. Like the similar way I want to represent the element values. Console dot log element values. That means employee values are. That means the details. We can specify object dot values. Here we can specify employee details. Inside this employee details, whatever the element values are available, all the values will be getting returned over here. Now let's see. Let's save this one. Now we can see that. Employee values are, we can see that employee name over here. Now employee code and the employee name. And then we are having the designation. And then we are having okay, the current CTC contact numbers are getting visible. But it won't show this okay object here. Because if you want to show the object, then we have to mailing address is an object, right? So we have to represent by using json.string the file. Now, I want to show the element employee mailing address over here. How to represent now? Let me show you. Now, print the employee mailing address. I want to show that console dot log. Mailing address is I want to represent JSON dot stringify. We can specify employee details dot mailing address. 
employee details dot mailing address inside this employee details object so we are having a sub object is available that is mailing address i would like to fetch all the mailing address values i would like to represent now let me show you let's save this one now we can see the mailing address is state name and then the city name and the state and the country and the postal code all these values also we can represent suppose if you want to show only the city of this employee here then how can we fetch now i would like to show that print the employee city name how can we print we can specify console.log we can go to that okay array name that means object name now employee city name is i want to show that employee details dot mailing address dot city now i want to show only that city so we have to specify the object name parent object name dot child object name inside that we have to specify the field name so whatever the element key that we have pass that element key based on the key it will be printing that respective element value now let's see we can see element city name is hyderabad so whatever the city value is available it will represent that element city value over here now this is the way okay we are using the help of this is the way we are using this okay complex elements inside your objects also This is the functionality. This is the way we can able to fetch the element values. So if the object contains some complex elements, then we can fetch. If you want to get only this particular contact numbers of this particular okay, customer here, then how to fetch? Let me show you. Now, print the contact numbers of the customer, of the employee. We can specify console dot log. Contact numbers are. I want to show employee details dot contact numbers. Now let's see. We can see only the contact numbers. So now contact numbers is an array. In that array, whatever the elements are available, those elements we can able to represent. It. So depends upon the requirement, we can able to fetch those elements also. Now this is how we can able to define an object which contains some complex elements also. Now let me clear this. Next one. Let me give you one more example here. Now, in some cases, how can we combine multiple objects into a single object? Yesterday, I showed you how to combine multiple arrays into a single array by using two mechanisms so one is contact method second one by using split syntax okay two two ways i showed you by using contact method also we can able to combine multiple arrays into a single array and then by using split syntax also from the ec6 we can between sigma script sets we can combine also see how can we do that no. write a javascript program to define multiple objects and combine the object elements whatever the elements are available inside these two objects i would like to combine okay all these elements into a single element over here
I want to combine these objects elements. Both the objects elements I would like to collect. Those elements I would like to combine over here. Now here, what I want to do is I want to prepare two objects over here. Like first object is used to store the employee details, like as employee code, employee name, current CTC, designation, and the contact number. Second one I would like to use to store okay the mailing address of that employee over here. Let's see. The same uh, same object I would like to use. I'm splitting into two. Now let's see here in this case. So here I'm placing this employee details over here up to this part. Now this is my object here. This is my object here. I'm defining this. I'm removing this piece of code. Now this is my object here. So this is the first object here. I'm having an object with the name okay employee details here. Second one, I'm defining another object here. Now I'm using this. I'm sent. I'm defining this okay mailing address. Mailing address equals to. I'm defining this. There is an object here. These are the two objects are available. These are the two objects. Now, two objects are available. So now the first object will be holding, okay, the first object will be holding employee details over here. Second object will be holding that mailing address information. That means contact details. Now, I want to represent both the objects first. So whatever the data available inside this both the objects, I would like to represent first. Like I want to represent the employee details. I want to represent okay, the mailing address details and support. And then I will show you how can we combine this okay, multiple objects data into single object here. That means whatever the elements are available inside this both the objects, I would like to combine them into a single object over here. Then how can we combine this multiple objects element into a single object? We can now let's see practically also over here. Now, let's see. Now I'm representing this employee basic details first. Print the employee details. Console dot log employee details are I would like to specify because it's an object, right? We have to use JSON dot stingify. Stingify, I would like to indicate employee details. I'm representing this. I'm representing only the employee basic details here. No no mailing address here. Now I want to represent. Let's see. Let's save this one. See that. Now we can see employee details are. We can see only the employee details over here, but no mailing address information. Now I want to represent the mailing address information also. Now print the employee contact address. So console dot log. Now, contact address is JSON dot stingify. We can specify mailing address. So I'm representing this mailing address also. So it is representing mailing address. That means contact address is street name and the city name and the state name country and the postal code all these values will be getting represented over here. so we can see all these details also over here okay fine till this it is done now so now i would like to okay combine both the elements here both the objects element into a single object over here 
then how can we combine the multiple objects element into a single object here? Now, combine the object elements. Combine the object elements. How can we do that? We are using split syntax over here. We can know. Now constant, I'm defining an object over here. One more object. Constant. I'm indicating that. Employee info. Employee info equals to, I would like to use that. The array syntax over here. Here we can specify that. Sorry. We have to specify the object. These are objects, right? We have to specify. Now we have to specify these two objects over here. Now use the three dots. I want to indicate employee details, comma, three dots, and the mailing address. Now this is called as spread syntax. It may be array, it may be object. If it is an array, we are enclosing with a square braces. If it is an object, we are enclosing with because the curly braces over here. So it may be any uh, multiple arrays also, it may be multiple objects also, we can combine the elements also over here with the help of this spread syntax. So which has been introduced from ECMAScript 6, that means ES6. From ES6 onwards, we are having this spread syntax just with the help of these three dots. This three dots is indicating this is a spread syntax over here, which has been introduced by the, web, the W3C okay, from ECMAScript 6 onwards. Before that, we don't have this kind of facility here. Just we have to use that method, contact method. But right now, we are using the split syntax right now. Now, I want to represent this object information. Console.log. Employee details are. I'm indicating json.stringify employee info in this employee info whatever the data is available i want to represent now let's save this so now we can see all the elements have been combined over here let's see so now we can see the employee details are it is indicating employee code employee name and then we can see a designation current ctc contact numbers and along with that street name and the city name and the state and the country and everything all the details have been getting combined over here. So multiple objects elements you can combine into the single object also here with the help of this split syntax. Now, this is the way we are going to be combining multiple objects element into single object over here. Now, let's see one more, the last use case on these objects today. How to prepare arrays of objects? Now, let's see. So now I want to prepare arrays of objects. And then how to fetch the required information from this array. Okay, now let's see practically over here. Now let's take that small use case. Write a JavaScript program to define arrays of objects and fetch the required object information information from the array so what object information that you want we can able to fetch it that facility will be available suppose for example i want to prepare an object with some elements like that i want to prepare multiple objects like for example Assume that here I'm having some products information. But not only one product, multiple products are available. Like we are having a laptop, we are having that desktop also, we have a wash, washing machine, we are having that okay, air conditioner, and then we are having that smartphone, like that, mobiles, like that. 
everything multiple products information is available each product will be having its own code its name its price its manufacturer like that so i want to prepare multiple objects over here i want to combine all this okay multiple okay objects information into a single sheet that means array i want to combine okay i want to combine all this products information into a single okay element of the single element single variable that is with the help of array because we know that by using this array we can able to group a collection of similar type of elements now let's see now so now what i want to do is i want to prepare multiple objects and i want to combine them over here so how to combine multiple okay objects into an array and how to fetch the required object information now let me show you now for example i'm preparing an object here creating arrays of objects now i'm preparing that constant products info i'm preparing an array in this array i would like to store a group of products information okay now let's see the first product now here i'm indicating this is one product information here we can able to specify like the product code i'm indicating 4001 the second one product name i'm indicating as some washing machine manufacturer i'm indicating some bosch incorporation and the unit price i'm indicating some that is 7000 so this is one product data like the similar way multiple products here you can call specify the comma second product comma third product comma fourth product like that multiple products information we can able to combine into a single array the second product is okay 4002 this is some air condition now this is from lg the cost will be 42000 now the third product 4003 the product is television tv this is from samsung samsung the price will be 84000 now the fourth one i am indicating 4004 it's a desktop device it's a desktop now this is from dell incorporation the price will be the cost of like as 42000 here these are the four products are available i'm having product okay 4001 4002 4003 4004 so multiple products are available over here these are the various the products information is available over here so now once the products information is available then how can we get the products information i want to show all the products information that means these are all of the elements this is the array in this array this each object is nothing but one element this is one element this is second element this is the third element this is the fourth element like that i want to print all the elements here print all the elements so i am using that console dot lock i'm indicating products information i want to indicate products in so what are the elements are available i would like to print now let's see now it is indicating this products information is object 1 this is the first object second object third and the fourth we can't see them okay we can't see them because these are internally objects right so now i would like to do that now 
simply even though if i'm indicating this array name now it is indicating that if i'm giving this array name without any message without any message if i'm representing that but now it is indicating this four objects here like uh, these are the four objects now this is the first object over here product code this is the index position zero product code product name manufacturer and everything we can see this is the first product information this is the second product information this is the third product information this is the fourth product information so these are the four products are available which we can able to see directly now how many number of products details are available i want to know you know yesterday we have discussed in the array if you want to know the number of elements count then we are using length method here now i'm indicating the number of products count the number of products i'm indicating console dot log number of products count i would like to indicate products in four dot length by using this length method we can print it now let's see now we can see number of products count is four these are the four products information is available over here now sometimes we can raise a question i whatever the products are available the first two products i would like to copy i want to store into some different elements over here i want to copy this first two products information two separate elements over here this i want to copy into one separate element this i want to copy into one more separate element so in this case here there is a process there is a mechanism is available in javascript that is called as destructive process it's not construction it's a destruction so i'm destructing i'm splitting that means i'm copying these elements into one separate okay elements over here now let's see copy the first two elements to okay products information two products information into separate elements by using a destructive process destructive process now in this case what we can do is simply define that constant constant we can specify that array because i want to copy product one product two so that will be the first product information i want to store in that okay product one second product information i want to copy into product two <coughs> these are the two elements so from where you would like to copy from the products info so now in this products info whatever the products are available the first product information i want to copy into product one second product information i want to copy into product two these are the elements here these are the elements that means like as a cloning process here cloning process i want to show this product one and the product two that means product one will be having the first product data like as okay washing machine second product two will be having second products data here that is 4002 that means air conditioner i want to show now print the products information products data now i'm indicating console dot log first product data the prints details i want to indicate json dot stringify product one like the similar way console dot log second products data i want to indicate json dot stringify product two so now here i would like to represent each and every product information separately over here so now i would like to copy the first product into product one element second product information to product two element over here now represent this now the first product details are it is copying the first product information like a 4001 washing machine and everything second product details are this is 4002 that is air condition like that here it is indicating so not only preparing this arrays of okay objects we can able to collect each and every object information and we can able to represent that also that facility will be available as part of this javascript programming
so we can prepare a collection of elements also where each and every element will be of type object that facility is available as part of this wicked javascript program this is the way we are going to be using this objects so with this one we are done with the objects and the arrays and the basic fundamentals and then we are having one more last feature as part of this javascript that is functions if you are done with that function then we will move forward to that business logic in lwc because when you go to the lwc the business logic we are writing inside the functions how to prepare the functions what exactly a function and then how to define what are the syntaxes are available okay everything we will see practically in tomorrow's session and one more thing tomorrow we don't have the session next session will be on day after tomorrow day after tomorrow we'll be having the session as usual at same time also over here okay so with tomorrow we don't have the session next session will be on day after tomorrow we are having the session at same timings same meeting link no change at all and on saturday we'll be having a bit lengthy session so we are going to discuss about the concept of okay lwc features okay we are com completing this uh, javascript from okay friday so from saturday we'll be having lwc business logic functionalities how to implement i will show you practically don't miss the sessions from now onwards okay Thank you guys. Thanks for your time.